Hey guys, welcome back to Terraria. Today, we will be playing Expert Mode. This is episode one, and this is hard. So, just making my character randomly. Um, I chose that for some reason. Um, and then, yeah, this world I ended up actually making corruption because the worm actually drops a worm scarf, and the worm scarf gives you, um, seven, or er, it gets rid of 17% of the damage that you take. So, that's why I chose Crimson. The Crimson just drops, or er, the Brain of Cthulhu just drops a weird, um, Brain of Confusion, and it's not very good. Now I'm generating the world. I am actually getting a new microphone that should be coming on Monday or possibly Tuesday. But it um it oh, oh, oh my, there's another one but um it, it will be better than this microphone is hopefully because it's a lot nicer and um yeah so it'll be better for these voiceovers. I'm just cutting down trees to start making tan in the house because uh, I want to get the NPCs fast. Um, I found one of those huge trees because I don't know why, but there's a pot. I ended up getting some health because the slimes are destroying me. Because as the title says, this game is hard. Um, yeah, just want to get the house done before night. Because Terraria normal mode, the night is pretty tough. And so I wanted to get these houses made before night. Because they're a lot tougher at night. I ended up making this house too small. And then I mistakenly made the same sized house on the other direction. And then I realized it was too small. So I uh, scrapped it and made them a little bigger. Um, there's a lot of blue slimes down there. Tanner was shooting them. Ah, there we go. Way bigger. Just watching Tanner kill a slime. It's already um, noon. Taking houses takes a while. As you can see, we're talking about plat blah, 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 blah. I can't say platform. <laughs> Um, as you can see from that platform, we will have many other, um, floors. And I also made myself some wooden armor. I don't usually do this, but since this is expert mode, it's a lot harder. And as you can see, the slimes did a lot of damage to my health. And, yeah. Just wait until night. Night's a nightmare. I ran out of wood. Slime in my house. Down to 46 health already. I'm cutting down my trees because I'm out of wood. And I would like to get Tanner house before night. It's a strong cap copper axe. Wow, <laughs> that was pretty good. Um, then I finish the house up in a little bit. Right now, just making torches, more walls, filling that in. Check in if it's suitable, and it is. So that means that the guide, Tanner, will move in, and yeah, it'll be good. So now, um, just making the second floor, like I mentioned earlier, and yeah, messing that up so I had to break that. The room on the left will be my room that's full of, um, crafting stuff because everything that you use to craft different things will be going in there such as the furnace the anvil the um slime thing that turn that makes slime blocks eventually that'll go in there plus the uh, i don't know how to say it but the thing that turns salt into valuable resources such as like platinum and gold so 
silver then. Um, just going out and exploring my world a little bit more. Um, going out slime. There ended up being a desert over here, and deserts aren't very nice, especially because of sandstorms and ant lions. Explain that. There's literally nothing in there. And then this house. This house had a pressure plate that every time I stepped on it, it would make another cave bat. And I was so confused why there's so many bats spawning. And then I realized later that um, they were spawning because that ant lion was stepping on the pressure plate a bunch. And that was making it spawn all those bats. And I ended up dying. Just going back to try to get that stuff. Another antlion charger, which I um, don't like. I tried to block him over there, but he kept chasing me, so I tried to beat him home and then hide in the house until he left. But things went other way. I stopped to attack a slime, and he caught up with me. Because once they gain speed, they are really fast. I think they have to like sit there and gain a bunch of speed, like the rabbit pet that you get later in the game. Or, you don't. You have to get the angler first. And exploring the world in expert mode, in the beginning at least, is pretty hard, so I just stick to close to my house. I kinda wanted to go see that stuff over there and get that chest. So the second I got over there, okay. First of all, the sandstorm wouldn't let me move because it's pushing really hard. And there's a lot of angry tumblers that wanted to kill me. So before they got over here, I broke that pressure plate so I didn't have anything to worry about. And then I ended up getting a seed gun. The seed gun. I keep calling it the seed gun. I don't know why. But um, the seed, I was called a seed gun because I don't know what it's actually called. The seed gun uh, shoots seeds at enemies and it, it's a ranged weapon. So, which means that it's going to be really useful for me right now. So I don't have to get closer to zombies during night. And then I ended up finding a lot of iron down here. And just mining around. Not really much to talk about when you're just mining. So, yeah. More iron. Um, torch. More iron. I didn't really find anything else in this cave other than just iron, which is kind of funny. I went to mine a little bit more. Ant mine chargers down there. Um, so I was being smart. I thought at least, and I used sand to blockade one of them in there, and the other one got out, and. I was, oh, it got up. So it got up there, and I ended up getting killed. As always, this is expert mode. Now, um, since that it's night and that I died, I didn't really want to go back there. So I lit up my place a little bit, and then I started in mine. This mine was um, pretty successful I'd say. Oh, also in my inventory there's the thing that turns um, um, silt and slush into valuable resources. And uh, you can see the seed gun in motion. Pretty good weapon. It's already midnight. Waste the most of the night trying to get sandstorms and stuff. Or er, fighting stuff and mining in the desert. So I decided I'd just start a mine here because the desert is pretty mean. Especially in expert mode. Normal mode is pretty mean too. Finding this cave, putting the wooden platforms because, yeah, I don't want to get stuck down here. I have currently 13 shots for my seed gun and then this zombie w w waddled in I don't know why I said waddled like that but it, um, he came in I ran out of bullets and then since I was low before 
I died like instantly. And then all of his friends decided to come in and party in my little mind, which wasn't very good. And then um, I stopped recording because I wasn't really doing other th anything other than mining. And then you see me dying. So this is my new mine. I was, I sat there and mined for a while. Um, tried to make this as safe as I could. And I found a mushroom biome with a house. Um, that's why I started recording, because I was um, going to see what loot I got from this house. I found a bunch of cobwebs, and I used it for rope, just to um, make sure I don't die of fall damage. Um, making my way over there, mining for this, because, yeah, there's a lot of mushrooms. I was trying to get that stuff, and then, um... Looting this, getting a sus suspicious looking eye. Um, I wonder what that does. Um, it spawns the eye. <laughs> the eye actually randomly spawned once, I don't know if I recorded it. But, yeah. I didn't kill it, it's expert mode. It's really hard. Um, um finding, er, mining, finding a lot of amethyst. I ended up finding enough amethyst to make myself a hook, or a grappling hook, whatever you want to call it. So that was really useful for getting around um, caves. That cave bat, like, up there looking like it wants to kill me, which it probably does, because cave bats are mean. And then I ended up finding a railway system, a mine track system, mine cart system, whatever you want to call it. And I uh, found some more ore, tungsten ore. So I went to mine that. And um, went down more and that. Okay. And then stopped recording because I died a lot. And then I found the um, barber lady, the lady who does her hair for you. Or you can change your hair. Or you can buy hair dye from her. But, every time I died, she would move again. And here I found her. And I was like, oh yes, let me finish this house so I can get her. Because I want to get all the NPCs in this world. Um, so I finished building this house. Plays in the chairs and stuff. As you can see down below the house, I don't know if I have it yet. Yes, I do. Um, I have a bunch of chests down there that I can keep all my stuff in instead of in the house because I'm um, saving room and space. So I go back down to try to rescue her from the spiders, which was a bad idea because she is always at the bottom of their cave or their spider nest. I don't know what it is. Um, so um, I couldn't really get down there without having to fight every single um, spider that was down there. And since I didn't have very good stuff, I haven't even made armor yet. Um, wasn't good. I already made all the, um, I already explored the whole cave. Um, I just saw her down there. So I went down to get her. As you can see, it's a wall through the back there. Scary. So I went to um, look for her because she's prettier, and she can only be found in the stupid spider caves, so it makes it really hard. I ended up killing it with my yo-yo that I got, or that I made from wood. I also made a tungsten broadsword and a um, cactus pickaxe. I also have a bow now, so that almost helped. And if you remember what I mentioned literally like a minute ago, she moves spots every time you die. So here I was, I didn't um, realize what had happened yet. I didn't realize that she had moved. So I ended up going back down. First of all, I had to get all those things and change those into resources using the, the thing that shall not be named because I have no idea what its name is. And there's quite a few zombies down there, so I um, 
What did I do? Oh, I grabbed my gun, push and then I jumped down because it's obviously the smartest thing to do instead of fighting with my yo-yo. I was pretty much just trying to um, get down back to the hair side. There we go. There. After I got back in the house, I fought them with the yo-yo to be safe. And then I don't know if I go back down in the spider cave in this um, episode. I don't think I do because the video is almost over. But I place in all those chests and putting some of my stuff away. And yeah. Bye guys. Hope you enjoyed.